Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I've got something very cool to show you. This is a 3x3 slime block hipster door. So basically what a hipster door is, is you know you'll have your pistons and the door will go straight down. It's not going to open like side to side like you know a normal store door would, it just goes up and down. Um, so why this is so cool is it uses a triple piston extender, which I've showed off on the channel before. But what makes this one special is it's completely tileable. So, I mean, if you had a really small airplane hanger that was only three tall, you could actually use this door, but you just keep repeating this pattern. So it's actually only one block wide, but you see I've repeated it here, and using the somewhat new honey blocks, you can alternate them between the slime blocks, and then you can make it go for, well, as far as you really want it to. So, uh, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 area, and it'll take up the whole footprint of the door, including the button, which you might want to move after. So you're going to want to do go 6 down, like so, and just place a button right there. Next what you want to do is you want to get your redstone dust in a line like that, along with 3 redstone repeaters. Then once you got that, you want to take your observers, and you just want to place them like this with the little face going straight into the redstone repeaters. Now what you want to do is you want to take some more repeaters and then you want to put them on four ticks. So hit them on all three times and then that's four ticks. Now you want to take three more observers, place them on top so the red dot is facing down like so. Now for the fun part, you want to place in your pistons. So. As you can see, there's actually three rows of pistons here, but we're actually going to start off with two, just to make the next step a little bit easier. So we're going to place the two rows like that, and we're going to place some observers like this with the arrows facing out. Now what we want to do is along this wall, we're just going to place some more observers on top, but this time the arrows facing in this direction. Now we can place our sticky pistons on top like so, with our blocks of iron right there. Of course, it can be any block that you want. Now we're going to take three redstone dust and place it on the back. This should connect to these three observers on the bottom. Now we're going to place some observers going down like this and you might actually see your pistons extend a little bit. That is alright. Now you just want to place some sticky pistons on top right there with some observers right here with the arrow facing into this wall. Then you want to take some obsidian or any other immovable block place it like that, kind of dividing these two things right here. And just to make sure we didn't break anything, we're going to break these three pistons and replace them just so they're flush like that. Now that we're almost done, we're going to take our honey blocks, place three like that, and then six slime blocks on the side like that. Of course you can do honey on the outside if you have an abundance of it, but just for me personally I always find I have much more slime balls than honey. So now for the final step. We're going to just add some blocks like this, and this is going to be our actual doorway. And you just got to add your platform in here so you can stand on it. I'm going to break a little hole here so we can press the button. And as you can see, we got our door. Now I actually made a little mistake here because you might want to remove some of the walls before you actually make the door, as you can see. But once you got the walls removed so the slime blocks or the honey blocks don't stick, and voila, we have our fully functioning door. So if you like that video and you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions for what the next tutorial should be, feel free to leave them down below as well. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.